Let's understand the theorem and proof of alternate pairs of angles. So in this theorem, we have two parallel lines AB and CD intersected by the transversal and these are all the angles formed, angle 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 5, 6, 7 and 8. Angle 3 and 5 are one pair of alternate interior angles and angle 4 and 6 are the other pair of alternate interior angles. What we have to prove in this theorem is that angle 3 is equal to angle 5 and angle 4 is equal to angle 6. Now we are going to prove this theorem. So what do we have for proving this theorem? We have two parallel lines AB and CD intersected by the transversal EF. Is there anything else which we can use for our proof? Yes, we can use corresponding angle axiom which states that when a transversal intersects parallel lines, corresponding angles formed are equal. Here in this theorem, we are actually proving that interior alternate angles are equal. That is why we call this a theorem and not an axiom. For an axiom, we don't have proof, it is taken for granted. We can also make use of pairs of angles formed by intersecting lines, such as vertically opposite angles and linear pairs as and when needed. Here in this proof, using the knowledge that corresponding angles are equal, we need to prove that interior alternate angles are equal. One thing we should keep in mind that these pairs that means angle 3 and 5 and angle 4 and 6 are alternate interior pairs. Similarly, we can have alternate exterior pairs also and these can be angles 2 and 8 and these will also be equal. Similarly, we can have angle 1 and 7. So this pair will also be equal. So angle 1 is equal to angle 7. Same approach will be used for proving alternate interior pairs and alternate exterior pairs as equal. Let's discuss the approach for proving alternate interior angles as equal. So first let us pick angle 3 and angle 5. So this is angle 3 and this is angle 5. We have to prove them equal. For doing this, here first we will identify a pair of corresponding angles which includes either angle 3 or angle 5. This pair of corresponding angles can be angle 1 and angle 5. So we know angle 1 will be equal to angle 5 by corresponding angle axiom. This can be your equation 1. And we know that vertically opposite angles are equal. So angle 1 is equal to angle 3. So we can write angle 1 is equal to angle 3. Call this as second. From 1 and 2, we can say here that angle 3 is equal to angle 5. Next, we can take angle 4 and 6 and let's see how we can prove this. Using the same approach, we can identify a pair of corresponding angles which includes either angle 4 or angle 6. So we can say that angle 2 is equal to angle 6 by corresponding angle axiom. So angle 2 is equal to angle 6 and angle 2 is equal to angle 4 also vertically opposite angles. You can call this as your third and this as fourth. And from 3 and 4 we can have angle 4 is equal to angle 6. So in this way we can prove that each pair of alternate interior angles is equal. Angle 3 is equal to angle 5 and angle 4 is equal to angle 6. Now let's turn our attention to pairs of exterior alternate angles. Let's first pick up the pair of angle 2 and angle 8. So this is angle 2 and this is angle 8. We'll use the same approach here. We will identify a pair of corresponding angles which either includes angle 2 or angle 8. So that pair can be angle 2 and angle 6. So angle 2 is equal to angle 6 corresponding angle axiom. 
and angle 6 is equal to angle 8 vertically opposite angles we can call this as 5 and this as 6 from 5 and 6 we can have angle 2 is equal to angle 8 next we pick the other pair that is angle 1 and angle 7 so this is angle 1 and this is angle 7 let's identify a pair of corresponding angles which includes either angle 1 or 7 so that can be angle 1 and angle 5 so angle 1 is equal to angle 5 by corresponding angle axiom and angle 5 is equal to angle 7 this is vertically opposite angles we can call this as 7 and this as 8 from 7 and 8 we have angle 1 is equal to angle 7 so we have proved that when two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal two pairs of alternate interior angles and two pairs of alternate exterior angles are equal let's summarize what we have learnt in this proof we use corresponding angle axiom and vertically opposite angles to prove the theorem that pairs of alternate interior angles are equal if two lines are intersected by a transversal and one alternate pair of interior angles is equal then all other pairs of alternate interior angles are equal converse of the theorem is also true that means if we have two lines intersected by a transversal and any one pair of alternate interior angles is equal that means the two lines will be parallel